All right, guys, just a quick video for you here. So you think you're all set and ready to go, but then you see Midway releases their legacy cabinet for Arcade 1-Up. And you say, hey, I like some of those games, but I got it covered. I got my, my cabinet modded. I'm good to go. You may have forgot to put tubing on there, so you go ahead and you, you grab your tubing ROM, and then you throw it down on your, uh, on your Raspberry Pi. And then you get in here, you start your game. And ain't on the buttons work. And you're sitting here saying to yourself, well, I got all my buttons mapped properly in MAME and every other game works. Why do the buttons not work on this game? Well, it just so happens that uh, look, the de developer who made this ROM mapped everything to a keyboard. So what you got to do is you get your keyboard, make sure you get your keyboard plugged into your your Pi. You hit tab, come down to input for this game. And you'll come down to your what is it, player one, paddle forward to the right, you hit enter, and you hit your your button. Come down to your next one. Paddle forward, what, to the left. Enter. There you go. And yeah, this is all you got to go back and to the left. That's all you got to do for all your buttons. And this actually will take more buttons than most games, on, at least that I have on, on here. Luckily, I had four buttons on this cabinet. I didn't think I was going to use anything to use that many. Um, you're going to need like four or five buttons for this one. You may be able to get away with just a couple because I don't actually player one start, player one throw. Let's see if we can make that like, yeah, because I actually am short of buttons, so I'll make that the coin button or select. And then you're good. Return the main menu. Return the game. And guess what? Now you're off and you're tubing. So that's it, guys. This is actually a game that I still am trying to figure out where I played to that. But I know I played this quite a bit in arcades. When I saw them announce that cabinet, I was hype. I'm like, let me go put this on my, <laughs> on my cabinet. I, I put it on here, then the buttons didn't work. So I had to do a little, little research. But if you think you want to do the same thing, you run into the same problem, I just... I think I talked about it in this weekend video, but I thought I'd go ahead and just make a quick video to go ahead and show you. But that is it, guys. Like I said, you're going to need a, how it works is you got a button for paddle forward, a button for paddle forward right, forward left, back left, back right, and then you got a throw button. And yeah, you see I'm throwing that can right there. So that's kind of how that works. But that's all you need. And you actually don't need your joystick at all. So, which... I guess I don't know if it's possible if you can use your joystick as a button for this, your different directions. I haven't tried that, but, but that's it, guys. I hope uh, a few of you found this helpful, and I uh, will see you in the next video. Later.